Anthony Hartwig here with a Middle Ridge volleyball player profile. I'm joined by the Rams senior libero and Charlize Bonilla. Charlize, thank you so much for taking the time to join us today. Thank you for having me. You got it. We said it's senior year. My first question for most seniors is, what has it been like going through this season and trying to deal with all the emotions that senior year brings? You know, it's your last home games, last, you know, first time, last first games, all the lasts that this year brings. What's it been like going through all the emotions of senior year? I mean, like you said, there's a lot of emotions, but I feel like my teammates just help me get through it. Like we all, the since we're so tight, I feel like we just all like go together and like that just helps us, you know. Yeah, you guys, uh, for seniors, you've been playing together and, and you have this this bond that's kind of unbreakable. What's it been like to go through this year with the, the great seniors that are on this Middle Ridge team? I mean, yeah, um, I feel like our senior group, we're, we're so tight. We have like so many bonding moments, like in the locker room, we're always heading, getting hyped up together. Like we're so tight, like we're so, I don't know, we're <laughs> like, it's a, it's a really good team. I don't know. This year, you have stepped on and made a huge impact. I mean, you you look at last year to this year, the numbers have gone way, way up. Uh, what did you do this year to 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 um, have so much success? I mean, last year, I didn't really play. So I didn't really have, like, a lot of, you know, mm. time on the court. But I just do what Coach Lesko tells me to do. I mean, Coach Lesko, he'll be like, dip your shoulder, and I'll be like, Okay, and I like next play. I'll just try to dip my shoulder. Like I just, Coach Lesko just helps me. It's. Um, <laughs> He's a great coach for sure. One of the things yeah. I want to know because I know you give him a lot of credit. What part of your game do you think he's helped you improve the most? Um, I feel like serve receive definitely. Um, I've been struggling with serve receive recently, and in practice we just like been focusing more on it. And he just tells us, like, what we're doing wrong and what we need to do better. Serve, receive might be something that you have struggled with in the past, but serving is definitely not. You're one of the best servers on the team, and you're always getting teams out of system. What's that like for you to to keep the aggressiveness in your serve and, and uh, what makes your serve so successful? I mean, I love getting aces. I feel like getting an ace is the best feeling ever. <laughs> I mean, like, I don't get to hit. So, like, serving would be, like, me hitting. So that's why I, like, get so hyped up every single time I get an ace. You know, um, what's your serve? Like, how, how have you developed your serve? You know, everyone kind of has their own routine and, and does their own thing. How have you developed your particular serve? Um, I feel like finding my routine. I feel like throughout the years I've had different, like, routines of serving. And recently I think I found, like, the one that – that's the one. Like, I do this, and this gets me the A's. <laughs> what is that routine? Take it, take it, take us through it for everybody. Um, I like go back, and I hold the ball with my right arm, and then I look at Coach Lesko. He gives me where to serve. I bounce the ball three times. I like square up to the court. I spin the ball and then toss. Yeah, there you go. Um, you're a libero, and liberos do a lot of behind-the-scenes work. They don't get all the credit, and a lot of people don't even know what a libero is. If you tell them, man, she's a libero, they're like, I don't know. What, what, she's wearing a different color <laughs> jersey. Um, what's it like to do a lot of the, the work that's under the radar, the work that your teammates obviously know is important, but you know, it, it's, it's the quote-unquote dirty work. What's that like for you to, to be able to do all that for your team? I mean, I like – getting the like hard balls when someone hits on me and i get that good date like that good um dig and then sam says the ball ava like oh uh, ava faith gianna like one of our hitters they just swing it away and we get the kill i just like yes i got that dig sam did her job the hitter did her job we're all good we got the point we're winning when you think of getting that dig um it, you know i know you already said the aces were the best feeling but what take us through the feeling of of you know you have a lot of big hitters that you go up against so getting that really big dig on a really strong hit that I, I'm sure the other team thinks is gonna be a kill. I mean, I hope I like every single time I see the ball, I go for it. Like even if I don't, I'm not like a hundred percent sure I'm gonna get it. I always try and go run and get the ball. Like it's my job, so like 
I don't have anything else to do. So getting a day is like, okay, I did my job. Now it's their turn to do their job. You know, you have that drive that, that you know, you're going to go for every ball. You're going to put your body on the line if you have to. I've seen you dive into the bench. I've seen you put your body on the floor. Um, what gives you that drive, that 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 sense of I'm going to get the ball no matter what it takes? I feel it's an instinct in a way. Like my uncle, um, he one day he told me, he was like, even if you don't know you're going to get the ball, just dive. Maybe you will. So just dive. Just dive and go for it. You developed so much since your freshman year back at McDonald. And one of the questions I have to ask you is this, what's it been like going through four years of high school and seeing yourself get better every single year? Um, I feel like there's always um, room for improvement. Like I feel like right now I can get better. I mean, every day I can get better. So I feel like that's my mentality in like my whole four years, getting better. Mm -hmm. When you think about yourself as a freshman and you reflect on, you know, freshman cheerleaders, what are some big differences between you then and you now? Um, you mean volleyball-wise? Yeah, volleyball-wise, personal-wise, like how have you grown since freshman year? I feel like definitely um, moving in the court. I feel like usually in my freshman year, I would like stick my – feet to the floor and not move and I would see like the ball go by me and like not react now I I definitely react I definitely go for it if I can we've talked about senior year and all the emotions that senior year can bring senior night puts those all right in your face right it's it's the night that everyone honors you um it, what was that like for you to see this Middle Ridge community kind of be able to get behind you and give you that night that says, hey, we appreciate what you've done for this team? I mean, it was – I was great. Um, I got so close with everybody in just, like, a short amount of time. It was, like, crazy. I was, like, I got close with them in two years. And to see how much, like, they care for me and they care for, like, everybody else, it's just great. I know it's going to be hard to graduate and leave this program. What are going to be some of your favorite memories you have with this team uh, when, when you do have to say goodbye? I mean, definitely my favorite memory is um, the season, like off season in the summer when we go to Cincinnati and we go to Toledo, we stay in the hotel room together. Like, and we just laugh all the time and we have like good talks. It's just great. I feel like that's my best memory. Let's talk a little bit more about that summer because not only did you guys have that team bonding experience, but you played really good volleyball down there in, in Cincinnati. Um, what did that do for your season and getting prepared for obviously the tough schedule that you guys put together for the year? Um, I feel like the off season definitely prepared us for, um, you know, regular season. We played so many hard teams. Like they were tough. They were big. We were, we were kind of small. Um <laughs> But we played good. We pushed through. Um, I think we won most of them. So we played really good. And that really prepared us for um, regular season and maybe a little bit of tournament season. You have played and competed with the best teams in the area. I mean, you've you've the only team that has taken a set from Crestview. You beat Fitch. You beat Lakeview. Um, this schedule is ridiculous. What do you think it has done for you to see so many good teams and, and be ready for this tournament? Yeah, I feel like Coach Lesko always puts uh, a hard schedule for us, but I feel like I kind of like it because I don't want to be playing like, um, I don't want to say easy teams, but like not as hard. So working hard and like just having that adrenaline go, like it's not the same when you play like a not as competitive team and you're just like standing there waiting for the ball to come at you. As like in a hard team, you just gotta go. You're running all the time. You say, "Oh God, my God!" I'm like, I have to serve. I need to get this. It's game point. You've obviously had a tough schedule. I'm gonna ask, what were some? Of, who were some of the hardest players that you had to dig as a defender? Um, I would say Crestview was definitely like one of them. Um, when Abby was hitting, I would like I feel like I would close my eyes a little bit on that one. <laughs> like I saw a ball coming at me, I just put my hands up and close my eyes and hope for the best. Close your eyes, say a quick <laughs> prayer, hope you get it. Um, yeah. 
you play a lot of club volleyball too, and we 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 get uh, told by by your club coaches and the people that run that club that that how good you are. What is what does off season volleyball do for you growing as a player playing in Jo? I mean, playing outside of school, it's definitely like really good um I feel like I can get better and like every t- every single um opportunity that I have to get better I'm like I'm gonna take it so playing club volleyball has definitely helped me a lot too because I stay active and I just like keep going and keep working and to get better all right I know the barrows don't swing too much have you ever tried to get in coach Lesko's ear and have him set you out of the back row and, and give you that chance to, to get a ball over I mean you have one kill this year so it's it's happened <laughs> once. You ever try to get set back there? Yep, I've definitely definitely have definitely at practice. Um, at practice we do henna lines. I just try. I'm like, Coach Lesko, put me up there. Coach <laughs> Lesko, let me hit. Coach Lesko, let me block. Oh man, I love it. Um, he always what? Says, he's what? always like, um, only if you were like a couple inches taller because you get up there. I was like. <laughs> I find this so funny. I love it. Um, when you think of the the things that you've had with this team off the floor, right? Off the floor, team chemistry. What are some of your favorite team bonding uh, exercises that you've done with Middle Ridge? Um, I say warming up. Warming up before a game, we put music. Um, we made our own playlist. Like, we put music. And we just warm up together. I feel like that's a good way of bond. And then, like, Ram Jacks. I love the Ram Jacks. Yeah, the Ram get you guys so fired up before a game. Yeah. I love watching it. And and you were kind of new to it, you know, last yeah. year. What was it like to be exposed to this this cultural thing in the volleyball program? And now you're in it too and, and you're you're firing. What was that like uh to to first be introduced to Ram Jacks? Um when I first came to Ridge, I saw them do Ram Jacks. I've never seen it before. Um, and I was like, this is weird. Like, why are you doing this? But now, and now I feel like, I like, like, uh, I like, um, Ram Jazz. I feel like it just hypes us up and it's a routine that we can't just miss. Let's talk about your family as well. I want to get to know you a little bit off the court. What, what makes, you know, your family so unique? I know you already said your uncle gives you really good advice. Talk about your family and, and what you think makes them unique from others. Um, so we're from Puerto Rico. So like, um, I don't, my family doesn't really get to watch me play like in person. So they always join YSN and my aunt, she, um, she is always like watching YSN and she screen records and she'll send me the video and she'll tell me what I did wrong and what I did good on that one right there. And then my grandma, she calls me like after the game and she's like, how you play, how you did. My grandpa, he always calls me too before the game shoot and he'll be like, okay, it's time to go. You do your game. You know, you're good. Just be better. Um, it's gotta be tough being that far away from family and, and to not be able to have them in the gym all the time. Um, what's that like for you to, to be able to at least share those moments with them. And, and like you said, get the phone calls before the game and to be able to still connect with your family down in Puerto Rico. I mean, it's always sad to like, they can't be on the game and I see everybody's like family there and like I don't see mine but as soon as I see YSN walk in I'm like yes my family's gonna watch me this time so I feel like it's better it's just yeah they're gonna see this interview you got any <laughs> special messages for for your family um I'm I'm just so um grateful for everybody um they've done so much for me and like just joining and watching me play it's just the best feeling ever. Um, thank you. Um, let's talk about role models that you have. You know, you're a role model yourself as a varsity player. There are a lot of people in this Middle Ridge program, whether they be in the middle school program or the TV players that want to be where you're at someday. But what are you, who are your role models? Who are people that you look to when you need that pick me up or you need that inspiration? Um, I feel like definitely my aunt. I don't know. I don't know if it's like, you know, that, but, um, I feel like my aunt, she played in like college and all that stuff. So I'm always like, I want to be like my aunt. I want to be like my aunt. I want to be better than my aunt. Better. I like that. I want to be better than you. Yeah. Um, let's talk about your future too. You're a senior. So after high school, you graduate. What are some things that you see for yourself in the future? Um, definitely going to college. 
Um, I mean, I'm not planning on playing in college, but like if I get the opportunity, I definitely will. Because out of college, volleyball is not going to like be something I can rely on. So I'm definitely going to go to college. Um, I don't know that where yet, um, but I'm going to be going into the pharmacist. Um, yeah. When you think of where, I know you haven't decided where yet, but are there? Do you want to be a little bit far away from Ohio? Do you want to? Do you want to explore the country? Do you want to travel? Do you want to stay close to to this area? What, what kind of things come to mind when when you think about places I might want to go? Um, I I don't know. Um, I've thought about like staying in Ohio. I thought about going away. I thought of going back home, and I just haven't made a decision yet. Like. They all are good options, and I just have to think through them like real hard because this depends my whole future, so I have to make the right decision. The great thing about volleyball season is you still got plenty of time to make those future decisions. It's only fall, so you still have all the winter and all the spring. Um, Shirley, before we let you go, I want to give you the time to thank everyone that supports you. I know you already gave a shout-out to your family, but I'm sure there are other people that, that you want to give a shout-out to, so – I want to give you the time to kind of put the people that support you in the limelight and, and get, let you uh, give them shout outs that you want to give. Um, thank you. Um, obviously my coaches, Coach Lesko, Coach Mark, and Coach Wright. Um, I've definitely improved so much thanks to you. So thank you for that one. Um, my friends were always coming to my games, um, supporting me, showing up there, and my family that always joined what I send to watch. <laughs> All right, Shirley's, we thank you so much for taking the time to join us today. We appreciate your time. We wish you the best of luck this season and in this tournament run. We hope it goes as long as possible, and we can't wait to talk to you in real soon. Thank you.